You must log in to use Smart Move as this tells the system who is driving the car. You cannot use Smart Move until you have logged in. Once you are logged in, everything that happens with the car is linked to you. So don't let anyone else log in as you and make sure you log out when you've finished your shift. To log into the system, enter your own driver number using the number keypad on the screen. Again, remember that your driver number is unique and should not be shared. If the numbers aren't appearing on the screen, make sure the flashing cursor is in the driver number box. Touch in the box if it isn't. Press the back button to delete a number if you make a mistake. After you have entered in your driver number, press ENT. Next, you must enter a secret PIN number. If you forget your PIN, it can only be reset by the base operator. Note that not all fleets allow PIN numbers, so check with your base. After keying in your PIN, press ENT and it will take a few seconds to log in. You may be required to complete the start of shift checklist. Once completed, you will enter your odometer reading and your meter total. If you are changing cars but are still on the same shift, press the box next to continue previous shift. Note that some jobs require odometer readings at the start and end of the job. When you are finished with the start of shift record, press accept. When you log in, your status is unavailable. You need to change this to available to be off at work. You can control your availability by pressing the coffee cup icon on the top menu. An empty cup means that you are available for work. And a cup with coffee and steam indicates that you are not available. Example, you are on a coffee break. Press the coffee cup icon to make yourself available and the status message will show your queue position. When you make yourself unavailable during a shift, to take a break for example, you may be asked how long you expect to be busy. Choose the best estimated time. Note that if you restore your availability within a short time and within the same zone, you will keep your queue position. That time is normally around 10 minutes, but may vary from fleet to fleet.